Can we offer it? Well, right. maybe you'd be interested in buying something. What's going on everybody? Coming a little different today. So I had a few comments in the comment section, people wanting to see the pawn shop, see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna give you a quick look at it. So this is us right here from the outside. It's a pretty busy area, but I'll let you check it out on the inside. Tell you a little bit about it. So this is it. Not a very big shop, but it's just us two here, so it's kind of perfect for us. What is it, like 800 square, 850 square feet? A little over 800 square feet. Um, we opened it. We got the place the beginning of two, 2019. I think we officially opened like May 2019. But if you don't already know, it's just my dad and I that run it. We don't have no employees. He worked for Walmart Distribution Center for over 20 years. I worked there for about seven. Worked at Pepsi for about four. And we both resold the whole time on eBay. So, just tired of the workplace environment. So, decided to take a chance and do our own thing. And I couldn't be no more happy. What about you? So like I said, yeah, it's just a smaller shop. We opened it up because we wanted to get the pawn aspect of it too because, you know, if you can get a decent amount of money loaned out on good stuff, there's a lot of money to be made there. So we do a little bit of everything in here. A lot of coins, a lot of video games, gold, tools, just a whole bunch of different stuff. So that's it quick look at it like I said not too big but it's good for us we could probably use it a little bit bigger and we've thought about getting the one next door and opening it up but we'll see where it takes us so that's it and I uh, appreciate the comment if somebody wanted to see it if there's anything else you want to see or any ideas of a video we should do let us know well Right. Maybe you'd be interested in buying something. It's an AK-47. Mm -hmm. And we'll go ahead and do a... Alright. I think this is... Oh, yeah. Maybe I need to take the trigger lock off. It. It, it's completely unclear. So the question is where you want for it. Well, I got this. I got about a thousand rounds of ammo. I have the, all the original parts plus. Um, this, this is almost like new. <laughs> he bought it what twenty? Twenty some twenty six years ago. Yeah, it's been a great home defense weapon. Ago, and it's been in my safe in storage because he moved to the Netherlands and he can't he, he get it over there. So I've been storing it until <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> store it anymore. Time. Okay. Yeah, time to do something with it. So yeah. what do you want for it with the rounds and we, everything? We're just going to go around to the different we pawn shops and see we were looking who gives about us a thousand the best, best uh, price. Yeah, a thousand rounds and mm. and the magazines. It's Matty. It's from Egypt. It's one of the most uh, reliable stamped receiver AK-47 that are. And, and you said something about it was pre-something? Pre-ban. It's a pre-ban. It's a small So it was imported before, uh, yeah, I bought it during the George W. Bush uh, assault weapons ban. This is a pre-ban, so when, I, when I'm talking pre-ban, it's yeah. from way back when. Wasn't it Clinton? Was it Clinton? That no, it was W. Bush. Oh, was it Bush that did it? It's got the chrome barrel. It can shoot uh, corrosive ammo. I had to call Randy and see what he... And I put the uh, folding stock on it so it's a little bit more maneuverable. And, but I have the original stock here. It comes with the cleaning kit. It has the cleaning kit in it. It's all original. Yeah. Has the bayonet lug. It's a full assault rifle. Totally loud. Pre-band. Would you sell it for a thousand or you aren't going to sell it? I would sell it for a thousand. With all the ammo and everything yeah. that goes with it, yeah. 
I mean, you're the first stop. Yeah, and this is the first stop. But will you sell it for the thousand if he wants to buy it, or you aren't going to yeah. sell it? Well, if you're going to buy it for a thousand, well, let, yeah, let him. Let him ask you. We got a gun guy. Otherwise, like, make us an offer, and we'll go with some yeah, others. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I didn't know what you were like. Well, we just started. So you have a good one, man. With you? That's a good one. Yeah, it's all you in the, the car. With you? Oh yeah, it's in the car. Uh, let me go get. No, it. no, 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 I'm gonna just send him some pictures of it. He knows these AKs like the back of his hands. So yeah, and that's the bul Bulgarian. You have the, you have the ammo with you? Or? Yes, it's yeah, just the, the wolf, the 20 round wolf. Yeah, there's some also about 200 rounds of good good brass. Then the wolf ammo is that aircraft aluminum. And I put on the uh, bird, bird cage flash suppressor and the Bulgarian uh, folding stock. But it's got the original stock there. He might ask a lot of stops on us and say, And it's ask. got the cleaning kit in it, the whole the whole in my eyes. Did when you bought it it, it was new or not new? No, I bought it uh, in a pawn shop. Oh, okay. in, in Sebring, Sebring Pawn. Long time ago. They don't even exist anymore. They're they're all just so like like different stamps, different everything, different importers. I know they're just all different depending on. A yeah. friend of mine knows these like the back of his hand. So. But I mean, if you got you want a thousand with the rounds you got with it. With the rounds, the magazines. Like yeah, if you bring in the rounds, I'll do the thousand. Well, okay, cool. Eighty-four in October, and then eighty this time. I'm not sure why. She said it was going to go down or something. One of them was eighty-four dollars. I'm not going to sit on the glass. And this will come off. Okay, so this is some of the good brands. Yeah, I definitely try it. I'm just going to fold trying to fold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll just press it down and let's grab to kind of do the work for you. Until he comes in and see what we can get. And we might be back with some more stuff. All right, we'll be here. I appreciate it. Sure, appreciate it, guys. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. You guys have a great day. You too. See you later. All right. Randy said it's a Tennessee import. There's a different import that's even more expensive. You can't well, put. But look at all. I mean, that's probably not pre-band. The pre-band ones I know are a lot more. MJ Paul. What's going on everybody so in the video you've seen a guy bring something in and this is what we ended up picking up uh, we are a FFL dealer so we do get things like this in the shop this is a AKM post band this is a Mahdi it's Egyptian imported um, the guy said it was pre band but it's not pre band when they are pre band it does make them more desirable um, this was, uh, I'm pretty sure it's 1993, and from what I read, those are some kind of Pharaoh stamps on them. But this is what he brought in. It's got a foldable stock on it, along with the wood stock. Um, so like I said, we do get stuff like this in, but these are not for sale. We were not selling them through YouTube. So yeah, you see me call a friend of mine just because these things are particular when they're older like this any stamp can make them more desirable other stamps can make them less desirable so there you know it just depends on exactly what you got because there's so many different variations of them but this was it and once again we appreciate everybody watching and if you like what you're watching hit the notification bell and the like button and make sure you subscribe 
because like I said at 2,500 subscribers we're gonna give this away and you have to be subscribed two and a half gold Indian so like I said appreciate everybody watching and we'll see y'all later